Today's video will be short, but to the point. I want to tell you how I change my reality in moments of total hopelessness or need or lack or frustration. I want to give you access to the same tools, so stay tuned. Welcome to my channel, my name is Kinga, and one of my goals for 2023 is to generate and increase abundance and love in the life of others, like yourself and for myself, by creating short exercises, affirmations, daily whispers, mood shifters, guided meditations, videos like this, and even magnet oils. Subscribe to my channel so you get to listen to some of my audios for free, or visit my website kingakramer.com for more. And now you can also sign up to my course, which is changing people's minds and lives, it's this one, it's the Abundance Course, and I will leave the link below. Go and check it out, it's amazing. You have heard the phrase, ask and it shall be given, or ask and you shall receive, right? It's a biblical quote from the New Testament of the Bible, depending on which translation or version of the Bible you quote from. Ask and it shall be given you, seek and it shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Jesus was teaching this to encourage people to turn to God or a higher power with their needs and desires, believing that their requests will be heard and granted. And we normally think that by asking, we have to ask for things like, I want more money, I want a boyfriend. But I have recently learned that asking is asking questions, to which the answer comes from the universe your higher consciousness, your inner wisdom. And the answers don't just come in the form of words, but in the form of actions, opportunities, meetings with people, synchronicities. I was reminded this through the teachings of Access Consciousness, and I have been using open-ended questions ever since. And they have been changing my reality big time. Access Consciousness teachings encourage people to ask open-ended questions, as a way to expand their consciousness, challenge their limitations, and create more awareness. They say that open-ended questions can serve as a powerful tool for self-discovery, personal growth, and transformation, and inviting new possibilities. I remember one day sitting in a park, crying over the fact that I had no jobs, no money, no car, no possibility to buy a car, refused, I was refused to get a loan, and I felt hopeless and broke, and I decided to ask questions like, what infinite possibilities are available to me right now? What can I choose right now? What should I notice? What can I do now? What can I be now that would create the future I desire? And I also went a very specific, how can I get a job right now? How can I get a car without having to pay for it? And it's not a description of how and what to do that will be your answer, but you will feel guided to contact a certain company and you will meet the right person and you will be offered the opportunities you need. This is how your answer comes. I was offered a job the next day and I was given an almost brand new car in a matter of days. Not for work and not by my employer, I'm talking about a car for my private everyday life. And I didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> I will not go into details, just know that miracles were happening to me, opportunities were given, showing up, synchronicities occurred that I never dared to imagine. If I had to plan my way out of misery, I wouldn't have been able to come up with solutions like the solutions that were presented to me or that I was led to. I drove by the same park a week later, drove by in my almost brand new car, knowing that I was starting my new job the next day and I couldn't believe the difference in my reality. In a matter of days, I almost felt like crying again, but this time because I was so touched by the possibilities. Or when I felt hopeless in the world of dating, having spent three years talking to hundreds of guys on and offline, trying to find that special someone, and I decided to change my approach. I stopped searching, not because I was so wise and cool and zen, but because I was so disappointed and burnt out. But it's a good thing because only in that state was I able to give over control and step into the state of perfect allowing. You know when you are like, fuck it, I don't care anymore. That's the state I was in. And the only question I kept asking, who is the person I will be the happiest with? And who will be the happiest with me for the longest time possible? And within weeks, he was delivered. Nothing like the guys I ever spoke to, nothing like what I dared to imagine. 
the universe clearly over delivered. So I'm very happy about that. But our relationship started off with a lot of conflicts. We were just pushing buttons on each other and no one dared to push before. We clearly had unhealed trauma in us, begging us to, you know, be allowed to come to the surface so we could heal them. So we did. And when I asked, how can we be the happiest together for the longest time possible? The universe gave us more opportunities for conflict. So we would have to face the most difficult situations and be forced to face our shit, heal our traumas, become a better version of ourselves so we could truly get to a stage where we could be the happiest together for the longest time possible. The amount of growth that this question provoked is unbelievable. Then I changed my question to how can I choose love every time I interact with him? And within days, I found myself being able to deal with my frustration in ways that I never thought was possible. I was even able to ask the same question in the middle of my frustration. How can I choose love right now? And I was given downloads from my higher self during meditation. I was given clear instructions on how to deal with negative emotions, frustrations and conflicts, which I actually talk about in my previous video, link below. I highly recommend you to watch that. And everything changed. So if you watch that video, probably will change everything for you too. And then I was supposed to travel somewhere and uh, my period was supposed to come on that Friday, which would have made everything inconvenient. So I asked my body, how can my period come earlier? And I decided to be specific because the previous days were not ideal either, but I knew that Monday was a good time. Only in the afternoon though, when I was at home already. So I asked, how can my period come on Monday afternoon instead of Friday? And it did, just like that. I still find it shocking and fascinating. Like, how can your body just change the date of your period with like five or four days? That's significant. And all that just because I asked the question? That's crazy to me. And one day I was driving and I was craving a pizza. And for fun, I asked, how can I get a free pizza today? And I told my cousin about this question and she said, how about asking, how can I get free stuff today? How can I get a lot of gifts today? I laughed and I went on with my day. And to my biggest surprise, when I went to pick up something from a store, I was offered a free drink. At first I was like, and then I laughed and I called my cousin back. And then later that day, I was offered a free pizza too. Then the next day I was craving pizza again. Don't ask, I love pizza, but I don't eat pizza often. And I realized that I don't like these average trashy pizzas anymore. I wanted a Naples style pizza, the Napoletana, or I don't know how they call it in your country. It has a different dough. And right when I asked the question, how can I get a Napoletana pizza today for free? My phone rings, but it was an unknown number. So my phone sends it automatically to answer phone. It was probably a sales call, whatever. But, see the screenshot, it came from Naples, Italy. How cool is that? I was not given a free pizza that day, but this call from Naples right after my question was a sign that I'm being listened to, I'm being heard. I hope my technique, asking open-ended questions, has inspired you. What will you ask today? If you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, because it costs you nothing, but it helps me reach more people like you. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.